Welcome to Make a Path Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 15. Before we jump into this, spoiler warning, we discuss the episode and what happens in it, so if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it and come back and watch the review. Alright, next thing I want to talk about since that's out of the way, Daryl getting shot. Now I uploaded a video before this, specifically giving some thoughts and opinions about that, so go watch that video for those, and we'll discuss more of it in the end of this video but starting right off carol is a badass my cousin said something funny while watching the uh episode that i think is absolutely true carol is like an activated agent <laughs> you know when you go back and binge the the series now you're gonna see her in season one and two and she's in her <laughs> civilian mode and then boom flips a switch, <laughs> becomes an activated agent, and now she's killing everybody. Carol's badass, and I'm really liking her uh, conflict with Insider in this episode especially because more and more when you're, when you're seeing her put in this environment and put in these predicaments, more and more you're seeing, you know, what the choices she makes is doing to her, the toll it's taking on her, and I'm really loving that. I'm loving how authentic those tears were, and it wasn't fear. The guys are taking it as she's afraid for herself, and that's not what it is at all. She's terrified for them and what she's going to do to them. And she has every reason to be, because she's a monster. Another thing I want to discuss is, yes, we don't know where Carol is at, and is she injured? I mean, it looked like they were following the blood trail from a walker that had its throat slit, or they could be following Carol's blood trail, because they did leave that at, on a cliffhanger on purpose. So Carol might be injured. Her blood trail bl led into a walker's blood trail. That is possible. Gets a little confusing, but that is possible. But I really do like Carol's story a little more now that it's sinking in than I did last episode. Uh, and that probably has a lot to do with Melissa McBride, the actress. She's a total ball of awesomeness. <laughs> She's just tremendous. She really brings it to the table every time. Uh, but jump from this to Morgan and Rick because they were the ones tracking her down. Uh, when they got in the car, I told my cousin, I was like, yeah, I'm in the mood for a Morgan and Rick conversation right now. And they killed it. And that entire conversation was great. Uh, between Morgan and Rick, the back and forth all the way, the banter with the wolf and the truth they were dropping. And right to the end where Rick is like, um, I thought he was going to be like, listen, Morgan, just come back. And he's like, Michonne ate your protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that whole scene between Morgan and Rick there was perfection. Obviously, Rick's going to make it, but I'm really hoping Morgan sticks around and they utilize him more in Season 7. I'm really loving him, so now I'm, I'm starting to really hope he's not one of the ones put up to bat. And that number of people who are being put up to bat are growing because we do know now they got Michonne and Glenn, so chances are when Rick and them get lined up in front of Negan in the next episode, and you can tack this onto my already uploaded prediction video go watch that if you haven't but when uh, they're already lined up we know for sure Glenn and Michonne will be brought out and placed on their knees with Rick and them lined up I mean damn this shit this finale holy shit it's gonna be intense and Maggie yeah what was she uh, losing the baby right there I don't know I'm not familiar with maybe it could just be a pain but they could be killing off the baby already <laughs> uh, but let's jump right to Daryl when Daryl got caught again by Dwight I was like fuck Daryl man you're really pissing me off right now because that's just not like Daryl his anger is blinding him remember what Michonne said a while back where she's like listen and, you know, stupidity gets you killed or some shit like that. Daryl's stupid. He's acting off rage right now, and he just fucked up. And he got clipped in the wing. Ha! Hey, when he got stabbed by the Savior in Episode 9, that was foreshadowing, I bet you, for him getting popped now by Dwight in the shoulder, in the wing. Oh, that's awesome. Um, listen, this shit is tight, though. I love it. Uh, anyway, so shit is going down. This is awesome. I am loving the season, especially the end of this season, uh, even though the Daryl's pissing me off with his... But I understand where he's coming from, and no, I do not personally believe he is dead, but I do believe this might just take him out of the running. But again, uh, that adds two more characters, again, with Glenn and Michonne getting added to the lineup. We know Daryl, Rosita, uh, Abraham, Rick, I mean Carl, uh, who else? Uh, Sasha? Oh man, they're, they are stacking this lineup of one character to be beat to death. Oh, We went from before thinking it's only going to be a couple to now we know it's shit. 
I mean, shit. But if you're new here, I want to let you know that I put up Afterthoughts videos after a couple days that are more detailed, and we kind of break down the whole episode. Now, because of my birthday and Easter falling just a few days apart, what I did is I did not have time to do the episode 14 Afterthoughts, so I'll do episode 14 and episode 15 back-to-back. -back. There'll be one day and then the next, so stay tuned for that, and we're going to have a lot of videos coming throughout the break, so do not go anywhere. When The Walking Dead Season 6 ends, we're going to move into Fear the Walking Dead and we're also going to go right into the Walking Dead prediction videos. Not heavy, we're going to scatter them, you know, it's not going to be an overload, but stay tuned for that. We don't go away during a break, we stay right here and we give you more content. Thoughts and opinions about this episode in that comment box. I'm done talking, it's your turn. Subscribe now.